Oh, hi there, I'm Black Bright, and somebody asked me what my thoughts are about the terrorist that massacred 50 Muslims. Um, his name is Brenton Tarrant. He describes himself as a white man who's looking out for his country. Now, he wrote a 93-page manifesto which outlined the reasons why he needed to do what he did. And, the, and he called it the Great Replacement. Now, the Great Replacement is a, is a term coined by a French writer um, who felt that the French culture was being usurped by the Muslim culture or by Muslim immigrants. And so he felt as though France was being overtaken or overrun by Muslims. Now, for Brenton Tarrant, his reasons well, let me say what the Great Replacement actually is. The Great Replacement is a politically correct term for white genocide, where people like Tarrant believe white people are dying out because of race mixing and white people having children at a slower rate than people of colour. That's what the Great Replacement is. They just believe that their race is going to be replaced by another race. Um, and so the reason, you know, he wrote down a couple of things in his manifesto. I put it in my own words, but basically this is what he's saying. Um, the immigrants are running, overrunning his country. Um, he's protecting his ethnically and culturally um, European race. He's protecting them from multiculturalism. Um, there's a declining birth rates among whites, which will result in the eradication of white people. He killed the Muslims because they were obvious immigrants and to show invaders, as he calls immigrants, that our homelands will never be theirs. Ironic since, you know, our African countries and Asian countries have been invaded from the beginning of time. So that's quite an ironic statement to make. But like I said, sometimes I think, I believe that, you know, why people like Tarrant really are afraid that what their ancestors did is going to be done to them because where is that fear coming from and is that fear justified or is it subjective um, another thing was white people will become a minority there they must ensure the existence of white people and the future of white children the crisis of mass immigration and sub-replacement fertility is an assault on the European people and if not combated will ultimately result in the complete racial and cultural of the European people. Young minorities should be killed so that white children will not live in fear. Nationalists fear that as more immigrants come in the country they will become a minority. Tarrant said, it is never wise to, be a, to become a minority group in every country, on every continent. Those that are minorities are oppressed. So what? So, OK, so he's got all of these fears that he's writing in his manifesto. Fears of being overrun, fears of, you know, the white race being eradicated and his lands being taken over by, you know, my, my, you know, immigrants. So if that is quite a big scale, but if you kind of um, make that scale smaller and imagine that the people he's talking about are his family members, the land that he's talking about, the homeland that he's talking about is his property. He could very well in his mind feel justified standing his ground and using the stand your ground law to deal with that situation because he feels under threat. And according to the stand your ground law, stand your ground laws generally state that individuals can use force to defend themselves and their property when they feel under threat without attempting to retreat. So whether or not that threat is real or subjective, you know, it doesn't matter. They can react the same way they react with Trayvon Martin and they reacted with McLaughlin in that Florida car park in the super, you know, outside the supermarket. Threats are subjective. But the thing is, is that in that moment, it's fight or flight. And if he genuinely believes that his race is under threat 
and he blames Muslims for um, that because he's been indoctrinated to believe that way. That is probably why he went out and did it. I mean, I can't think of any other reason. When people do things in their mind, wrong or right, they believe that what they're doing is right at the time and in his head. And the thing is, you know, you get people, you get nationalists, um, you know, dropping seeds into vulnerable people. And they, you know, they drop seeds and they drop seeds all the time and they kind of provoke and cajole so that people like Tarrant will go out and do that. You know, and if he's writing in 93, and he's quite intelligent because the way that manifesto was written, I mean, he ain't a dummy. So he must have been just absorbing everything he was writing, getting angrier and angrier and just decided, look, you know, this is what I'm going to go and do. Because why does that happen? Why do, you know, there's always a reason why people do what they do. And the thing is, is that, you know, you have the media um, and it's, it's some people, they use statistics. They don't even use statistics correctly. They don't use, they might say it's 50 percent. But what is it? 50 percent of what? Is it 50 percent of 50 percent or is it 50 percent of 100 percent? You know, they take out little figures and they take out statistics and they take it from one part and they slot it in another. And then it's like when they're talking about when they're showing you know, for example, if they're showing um, big posters of immigrants like they did with Brexit, all these Syrians invading the country, the UK. And then in I've seen these posters in um, the United States, all these Venezuelans invading the shore. And then you might see something else, all these Africans coming in only to find out they make it look like they're all coming into the same place when actually they're going to all different places and it's nowhere near where you are. But the fact of the matter is the damage has been done. And then they compound it by giving statistics which are not which are false. They're not based on reality. They're not fair statistics. When they're talking about immigration and they say, oh, immigration has increased by such and such an amount. They're not including white immigrants. They're not including like with the UK. They're not including Polish immigrants. They're not including Irish immigrants, even though they make up the immigrant population. So it's all distorted. But to somebody who is not looking for evidence and who is not examining and researching and is just taking what certain people say, that's that's not going to that's it. He's not going to have that information. And, you know, a lot of these people who think like that, they're not even interested in finding out anything else. They're not interested to know whether or not it's the truth because they built up the truth in their minds. They've seen the evidence, i.e. the posters, and even if they were to go like they did with Brexit, even if they were to go afterwards and say, I'm ever so sorry, those posters didn't, um, didn't they, they weren't coming to England. They weren't, you know, all those Africans are not coming to England. All those, um, all those Asians are not coming to England and all those Venezuelans are not coming to America or to England. You know, we've just got a lot of... Um, white immigrants coming in the damage has already been done because it's already in, it's already instilled fear and besides uh, the people who think that way they don't even consider um white immigrants as immigrants anyway but when it comes to black people black people they actually um do immigrants by descent so it's not it's not enough even if you're born here they, they, they go by descent you know, just to compound it and make it look worse than what it is. It's it's not right. I mean, people need to know the truth and they need to have facts and they must stop all this fear mongering and creating havoc. You know, it's it's not necessary. But, you know, people have their own agenda. I don't know what their agenda is, but they have their agenda. And, you know, there's not much we can do about that. But I just wanted to put my two pence worth into those people who asked me what I thought about the massacre. I think it's very, very sad. And, you know, it's, you know, I was thinking about when um, when we had that suicide um, 
when we had that suicide attack at the Ariando Grande um, concert where 700 were hurt. Um, I think 22 were killed in that. But, you know, what was going on in that person's mind? Did they feel that um, all those people at that concert were not honouring God, that they were, that they were, is, is it working? This bloody laptop. That, that they, I'm going to stop it in a minute anyway, that were they, did they believe that they were kind of um, worshipping an idol? I don't know what they thought, but what I'm saying is, is that when people do these things, they justify it in their head and they carry out the action. So, you know, no one's safe anywhere because you don't know what people are believing and you don't know what people's truth is. Anyway, I better stop before it cuts off. That's all for now. Bye bye.